Hey guys, so I'm currently on my way to Ringura Airfield where I'm going to be showing you a fully electric light aircraft and we'll be having a look at the future of air transportation with zero emissions. So, so this is the first and only electric plane in New Zealand and it's, um, it's a Pipistrol Alpha Electro so that's a, a plane that's made in Slovenia um, and they were the first people to actually serially produce an electric plane and this is the first one to come into the country so 100% battery electric and it's designed as a training aircraft so it flies for about an hour, takes about an hour to charge very practical for those typical early uh, training flights and circuit training Cool, and it was built um, like specifically to be an electric plane as opposed to be like an adaption or anything like that? No, it, it, there is a petrol version of okay, this and cool. they've sold hundreds of those. Right, right, um, so it's already a certified airframe kind of thing. Yeah, that's Excellent. right, so they, it's much easier to start with an airframe. Yes. And actually one of the reasons this works so well is it's 100% composite, the wings and the body of the plane, and um, it's a very, very uh, streamlined aircraft mm. with flaperons on the wings and yeah, so it, it was a perfect, perfect conversion for Cool, all right, sweet. So we've got charging cable um, and you've got your battery compartment that you're going yeah, to show, show me. Yeah, I'll show you the battery. So there's, there's two actually, there's one here and there's one behind the seats where the petrol ah, yeah. tank would normally <laughs> be, which is quite nice. So we're just charging up at the moment. Right. Um, and one of the nice things about this, about the battery unit is in a few years time, when we need to change the batteries, it's a matter of just undoing these clips, pulling, pulling the battery out and this new one slides in. And away you go. So it looks, it almost looks like the sort of thing that would be hot, hot swappable, like you could, is, yeah. right. Yeah. So you could have one fully charged and then just swap them out and... Well, it's hardly worthwhile because the truth yeah. is, you know, by the time you've landed and, um, you know, had a cup of tea, right, right. debriefed your student, yeah. a new student arrives, you right. brief them, check the plane, you know, because you've got to check the plane each yeah. time, do the walk around. That's it's going to take it's, a time to charge anyway. An anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, right. um, and the other thing is, you know, there's no going to the petrol station or, yeah. you know, filling up your plane still takes some time. So we don't have to then go to a petrol tank and do mm. all that. So, it's just sitting here while we go off and have a, you know, do something else and do the paperwork. Yeah. The plane's charging. So cool. It's very fueling, so and that, look, really that looks like it would be really easy when, like down the track as battery den uh, density gets, uh, you know, better, you'd be, be able to just put a higher capacity battery in there and then yeah. extend the flight time without having to replace the aircraft. Yeah, I think that's true. We're hoping that will happen in, 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 the, coming, in the coming years, yeah. Cool, fantastic. All right, so what's your charging setup? Uh, so, yeah, we're charging in here. We, we, we're pretty much, we're about 90% charged now, so we can probably unplug, actually, yep. um, if, before our little flight. Um, so if you follow the cable along. This is the, this is the, the high-tech equivalent of an extension cable, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, at the moment we're, just, we're, char we're charging in here. So, we're in three-phase power, and it's a 20-kilowatt charger. Right. So, um, yeah, so, and like I say, you got 20 kilowatt charger for the 20, 20 kilowatt hours of battery more or less so if it was totally empty an hour to charge wow it's a bit less than yeah that. yeah and then um yeah this is the charger here so you can see it's charging at the moment it slows down towards the end yeah putting a few kilowatts in there now Fantastic. so if we yeah um so if we stop that if we cancel now because we're we're at about 90 percent charge which is fine we'll switch off here and that's it. That's it. And um, you know, and I see you've got a USB port on there meter. too to charge your phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's always handy. Yeah. My my story is, I was um, I've been in working renewable energy for a couple of decades, wind farms and solar farms, and trying to save the planet. And I've been driving electric cars as an early adopter. And um, but I also love flying, and I'm mm. flying petrol planes. And I was like, well, this is, <laughs> it's not a good look. You drive your leaf to the to the airfield, and then yeah. spend a few gallons. Exactly, yeah. and it just it just wasn't didn't, didn't wasn't stacking up. So um, I started looking around. We found we found Pipistrol, and uh, I went to Slovenia and flew the plane. And it was oh, completely wow. hooked. So it was yeah. it was great. And um, um, so I've been really trying to, to to bring these in and uh, to persuade. Um, 
what is quite a traditional conservative market mm. actually the aviation you know yes. shoots around yeah. all that safety and you'd want it to be like that but uh, you know change is, tends to be slow um but our intention is really look okay if no one else is doing this we're going to do it so we mm. brought the plane in and um you know it was a big struggle uh, with the regulators to make them recognize that it's just an aeroplane with yep. a different propulsion system and all that kind of stuff and we finally got we finally got it going and we we got it flying um, and um, and and now we've flown 160 hours in it and without a single problem it's been fantastic mm. uh, and it's performed exactly as it was meant to perform um, and we, we and, you know and we're doing that for uh, three dollars an hour three dollars um, an hour wow and yeah, what's on, that what's that in comparison to your normal um so a, so like a, a cessna a kind of cessna you might see in a traditional flight school might be close to a hundred dollars an hour right 80 to 100. yeah so it's a really big difference um some of the some of the aircraft like this which are in the kind of light sport category yeah. would burn a lot less about 30 dollars an hour okay right maybe 40 dollars an hour yes but it's yeah. still this is still you know if you took the best uh uh, combustion engine equivalent this would still be 10 times more efficient yes. than that yeah in, in, in terms of cost yes yeah um so there's a big financial saving once it's here there yeah. is, but it is but to be fair it is a bit like the evs you know the initial upfront mm. capital cost is higher what does this compare to a, a petrol equivalent like if you're talking if you're looking at the same plane petrol this, versus electric this is, this is probably about 30 percent more than the right. equivalent uh, it's equivalent petrol yeah. uh, version so 30 percent more but you're probably saving something like three or four hundred percent in in running costs yeah oh yeah we would yeah. be we would be saving it uh, i mean i haven't worked it out in a, as a percentage actually but it would it is significant like yes. particularly with aircraft I mean, obviously we know with cars that you don't have to maintain an ev nearly as to, to nearly, nearly as often um it just isn't as much to do but with with aircraft this there are mandatory 100 hour inspections and all this kind of stuff so there are still things we need to it's not free because mm. there are still things we need to do but it's mostly about the airframe checking the wheels and the mm. tires and those sort of practical things like the windscreen wipers on your leaf right, right. yeah so with with <laughs> this compared to the petrol one what are you sort of um you know what would be the cost the running costs involved in keeping it running for your maintenance um uh, it, it would be um it, it, I mean, I, I, I probably, probably it would. Well, the, the best example I could give mm. is, you know, the hundred-hour inspection for us was 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 a, a, a two to three hour, uh, two to three hours of a of a maintenance engineer. Yeah. Um, and if we had a petrol version of this, that would have been at least a whole day. Right. And uh, maybe spilling into a second day. So right. That's the kind of proportion uh, you're talking and about. And how often do you have those hundred day, uh, hundred uh, hour maintenances? Um, well, we, we we won't be far that far off coming up to our second one, but it obviously depends how often right. you fly. Yeah. Um, there are some uh, some other inspections that we that we we, we do as well, just mm. on, a, on a regular basis. Um, but we've had we've we've had literally no other problems. The worst thing that we, mm. the worst maintenance issue we've had is a flat tire. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's been yeah. great actually. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Mm. Um, cool. All right. Well, let's. Um, I guess the next step is to start it moving. Yeah, so yeah, let's go yeah, for that. Okay, yeah. Oh, there's a par there's a parachute here. Do you know cool. if we mentioned that? So, um, yeah, if I die or something, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you pull that like that, and it'll bring the plane down, and then you won't need to have to work out and land a plane. Fantastic. We try not to pull that. Um, we say clear prop, and we start her up. Great. Let's head out onto the.
are basing it on, so, on, on, a, on, a, on that flight, but if, uh, that flight we just said would have been, um, let's say 10 kilowatt hours, because it's half the archery range, so let's say 10 kilowatt hours, and how much a kilowatt hour is, so let's say 20 cents, if it's 20 cents, that'd be two dollars, so you're maybe exaggerating, maybe that would be a two dollar flight. <laughs> My advice to anyone would be never go first. Like, yeah. you know? yeah. <laughs> but that's why no one was doing it because everyone yeah. thought it was yeah. going to be a nightmare. And, but that's the thing, right? like someone's got to start. Yeah. Right? Unless you're actually like at the first person, it doesn't happen. Yeah, they're looking at, I'm really pleased, pleased it's included the way brothers. Mm. That's their that's, you know, job time. Well, that's by example, and yeah, just make it easier for people to follow. That's right, yeah. Um, look, I think I think what, I think the traditional uh, flight schools have been watching us, and we are talking to a number of them. And um, there's definitely strong interest there. I think some some you know one or two will go for it. Um, but uh, the more flying we do, the more we prove the concept, yes. the more the show is reliable, um, the more comfortable people will be. We have had a difficult, you know, Bryce has had a difficult year though. Yeah. So it's not been a year when they've been investing in new aircraft. Yes. So in that respect, you've got to take that into account. I think when I don't think I'd be surprised if there were any flight schools when they come to review uh, part of their fleet that were at least considering it as a result of this. And it does seem a lot quieter as well. Oh, it's so much like when you started it, it was just like. You know, <laughs> It's uh, about 70% quieter yep. uh, than a conventional wow. aircraft here. Yeah, I don't, I don't quite have the context to appreciate it because yeah. I've obviously never flown this one. Yeah, no, this, is, this is dramatically quieter. Yeah. Well, Gary, thank you very much no, for to what you're doing here. Very impressive. <laughs> Excellent, thanks for coming. Yep. I hope you enjoyed this electric aircraft tour. I just want to say a huge thanks to Gary, the team at Electric Air, and everybody else who's played a role in helping make this happen. I think what they're doing out there is incredible, and I can't wait to see more electric aircraft in the sky. If you're keen to find out more, you can check out their website as well if you're interested in learning to fly on an electric aircraft. We also uploaded the full unedited flight video if you, as well if you'd like to enjoy more of Canterbury from the air. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more New Zealand EV content in your future, and let's make our future electric.